I uh, had to pull the distributor out of my car to uh, take a picture of its uh, part number for an owner and I figured that as long as I'm putting the distributor back into the car I may as well make a video of the procedure the um, procedure that I'm going to be showing you is not in the um, DeLorean workshop manual but uh, you will find it like in Volvo factory literature the key to the whole operation is this plug right here which once again you will not find that plug or an explanation of its purpose in the DeLorean workshop manual but you will find it in Volvo's literature like I said the procedure I'm going to be showing you is how Volvo wants you to install a distributor in their PRVs. This plug has a 5 16th square recess in the head, which is identical to the um, oil pan plug, it's identical to the block drain plugs. So you will use the same tool that you use to remove those plugs to remove this one. Removing that plug gives you access to a hole that will then allow you to locate a um, hole that has been drilled into the number six counterweight. Um, that hole is purposefully intended to locate top dead center of cylinder number one. You may discover that um, the hose clamp for your heater core return line is in the way and if it is just loosen it up and pivot the hose clamp out of the way to locate top dead center of cylinder number one I'm going to use a 5 16 bolt you could also use an 8 millimeter bolt and this bolt is two and a half inches long. Um, Volvo shows in their literature using a, a foot long drill bit. Um, I like to use a bolt because the bolt has a head and that will prevent it from falling into the crankcase if you are not yet on the counterweight. I have uh, purposefully not rotated the engine far enough to start locating uh, top dead center of cylinder one. And I did that so you can see what will happen when I put the bolt in the locating hole. It drops all the way down. It is not yet on the number six counterweight. But the head of the bolt prevents it from falling into the crankcase so I can just grab it with a magnet and pull it back out. The easiest way to position the engine to begin the locating process is to look through the number six intake port. That metal stem that you can see in the intake port that is the stem on the intake valve and when you see that intake valve starting to close now the counterweight is underneath the hole and we can begin the locating process notice that the bolt has not dropped all the way into the locating hole 
And the reason is because it is now riding on the number six counterweight. What we are going to do is rotate the engine until that bolt drops into the locating hole. When the bolt drops into the locating hole, we will be at top dead center of cylinder number one. The bolt just dropped into the hole. We are now at top dead center of cylinder number one. Do not forget to pull the locating bolt out and put the plug back in. The first thing to check is the timing scale. With the engine at top dead center of cylinder one, make sure that the timing scale is pointed at zero. If it is not, loosen the hold down bolts and adjust it so it is pointed at the zero mark. If you look closely at the distributor, there's a little mark in the edge of the distributor, basically in the middle of the hold down adjusting slot. We are going to use that mark to locate the distributor for top dead center cylinder one. The rotor button will move to the left as you seat the distributor. So you start with the rotor button to the right of that mark in the lip. Volvo recommends using the uh, hold down clamp. Position the rotor at the hold down clamp. Watch what happens when I seat the distributor. Now the rotor is pointed at the notch for top dead center of cylinder number one. We can put our hold down clamp on the stud, reassemble our induction system, and the engine will start. This is not the final uh, timing of the engine. We are still going to be a couple of degrees off, but it will be good enough to start the engine. It is good enough to start the engine and begin the timing process. As you can see, I'm a few degrees advanced for base ignition time on this particular engine. This particular engine calls for 10 degrees before top center, and I'm probably somewhere in the uh, 13 to 15 degree range. I adjusted the distributor slightly, and now I am spot on for this engine's timing mark. Don't forget, when you're timing the engine, you disconnect the vacuum advance from the distributor and put a plug in the port of vacuum line. You do not want vacuum advance while you're setting base ignition time. And that is all there is to installing a DeLorean distributor. As you can see, it's not difficult at all. But I must emphasize, the crankshaft goes around two times for every camshaft rotation. And if you are not careful, you can install the distributor 180 degrees off. And you'll know that it's 180 degrees off when you have fire shooting out of the intake. 
because it's making spark at the wrong time. And the indexing hole will not help you in that regard because it goes around two times for every camshaft rotation. Just because you're in the indexing hole does not mean that you're at top dead center of the compression stroke. It is entirely possible that you could be at top dead center of the exhaust stroke. And the way you avoid that is by looking at number six intake. If you can see number six intake valve opening and starting to close, then you know that you are on the compression side of those two rotations, not on the exhaust side. You can't see the exhaust valve. You can only see the intake valve. So watch for number six intake valve to open and start to close and you will be in the proper position to put a bolt in the indexing hole and finish the distributor installation.